Well, hello, hello, hello. Happy weekend, happy weekend, happy weekend. Hello, welcome again to my channel. You know what time it is. It's time for a week in review. And boy, what a week it was. Mm -mm -mm. From start to finish. So, you know what time it is. It's time for birthday greetings so i'd like to wish if you have a birthday today or anytime this week happy happy birthday happy birthday to you happy birthday so i have a long list but i never know i know so much virgo people i thought leo was bad but virgo take over now so Happy birthday to my great niece Abby. She turned five. Happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday to baby bear. <laughs> Jeanette. Jeanette, happy birthday to you, my baby bear. Mama bear loves you. <laughs> happy birthday to Claudia Powell. Happy birthday, Melo. Melanie Brown. Yes, big up yourself, Melo all the way across the pond and happy birthday to beautiful twin young ladies they turn 18 that magical age amber and amanda auntie narian loves you mm -hmm. so happy birthday to all of you guys i hope you had a wonderful week and just enjoy the rest of the month you know it's your it's your month Enjoy to the 31st to the 30th, right? You mean the 31st, Lord Jesus, my teacher that beat me. The 30th, because we're in a September, right? 30 days of September, April, June, right? 30 to the 30th, yes. <laughs> so, of course, we're gonna continue with the Jamaica fun facts, and because it's back to school, people still I run up and down, but it's back to school, I stress out some. Some schools started this week and some gonna start on Monday. So far I've been hearing a lot of traffic in Jamaica there where the road works. People are get upset because road no fix and time and all kind of craziness. Some bridge tear down in a Trelawney and the people them I felt some pulley business across some some dangerous ri river. I'm like, is it in Trelawney? Or in Manchester, I can't, I can't remember where, but that looks scary. I would never go in that little pulley makeshift thing. Come on, government, you don't need to do better than that. If you know, I know you don't have thing slated for the road work and so, but something like that, like a bridge, a main bridge that's supposed to take people back and forth, you don't need to take money, take from another project and put that is very important because we don't want to hear say, people wash me. You understand especially the kids you know so boy it's stressful but anyways coming back to the Jamaica fun fact so did you know that the Jamaica school challenge quiz the first school to have won the competition was St. Hughes High School for girls not only are they the first school to win but they are the only girls' school that ever won that, that the school challenge quiz. No other girls' school has, has ever won that title after that. So the first competition, competition was in 1970. They played against the Hampton School and they won. And they still make history. So big of yourself, St. Hughes. Yes, I was a past student. Yes. Yeah, I passed. I actually graduated from there. Can you imagine the school clothes? But yeah, I mean, I have a couple of little subjects under my belt, too. Yeah, I mean, it is study. It is study. You know? <laughs> yes, yeah, so good news for people. You know, Western Union is the second. That's, it, that's where, in terms of Jamaica earning money, them claims tourism, because we don't know what's going on with farming. The next sector where Jamaica earn the most money is from Western Union, from people sending money to them family and friends in Jamaica. So Western Union 
now comes up come up with something that um you can now use your debit card your visa debit card so people can actually send money from the u.s to their relatives in jamaica so uh, on their to their visa debit card so say you're here your mom have a visa debit card with ncb or bns or one of them back down there you can send the money straight to their visa debit card so um yes so the the countries that are eligible at this time it would be um, colombia el salvador jamaica philippines romania and thailand and um using um the western union app or you can do westernunion.com or any other retail locations here in the u.s so remember now people in the u.s big foreigner if you want to send money to your family back home and they have a visa debit card you send it straight to their visa debit card which i think is even better and safe because at least the money reaching real time number one and then you know have them not have to look behind them when they are collect the little money for yang yang drive up and take and, and stick them up and take where the money as then come out of western union so that's a good look and a good idea all right so moving on so sharika jackson there's some good news right there you know um she is a diamond league champion world 200 meter champion sharika jackson storms to 21.79 to claim her first diamond trophy congratulations sharika jackson yes we are going with teams we are going with teams yes as usual moving on so did you all know? Well, I I knew this years ago before I actually uh, migrated here. But did you know that they have a uh, a male netball team in Jamaica? Yes, they do, and they play a good game too. I remember when, cause I when did, when I when come at the state, early two thousand, two thousand three, something like that. Before that, I went up to a national um, arena and watched a netball match with um, all guys. And it was fun. It, it was really fun, yes. So, yes, um, they call themselves Jamaica Sons. Um, they won their first international tournament in St. Vincent and the Grim grenadines so congratulations to the male netball team isn't that wonderful yep big up on yourself yes so yes they won um 52 to 33 that's cool so congratulations to the male netball jamaican male netball team yeah, and I hope them get as much um support too. Because, I mean, they make Jamaica proud. I know a lot of people, I mean, it's, it's, it's the same as uh, basketball. No big deal. You know, it's no big deal in that. So people look on it and say it's a girl's game. But you have girls play um basketball too. Sports are sports. You understand? Yes, and they did us well. They did us proud. All right. So moving on. So, of course, the Jamaica U Miss Um Universe twenty twenty two is the um from Saint Thomas, and she is the cousin. She's related to Tony and Singh, which was Miss World 2019 to 20. I wish she actually win 20, 2019. Yeah, right. So 
um, Miss Jamaica Universe. Her name is Sashami Calvin, and she won for um, I don't for she's from Saint Thomas. So congratulations to you, Tashami Calvin. Yes, I wish you all the best. She's a pretty girl. So let's hope she will come up in the top ten at least. Yeah. So the Miss Universe. All right. So let us swim across the pond. So on Tuesday, we heard that uh, Britain got their third female prime minister. Her name is Liz Truss. And she's 47 years old. I don't know if them get the age right because she kind of look too old. She look way older than 47. But I got them say. So we're going to work with that. So, yes. Yeah, so she met with Queen Elizabeth on Tuesday, you know, where she got the approval to pick her cabinet members. So, yeah. So she's the third female um, prime minister of. Britain. The first one was Margaret Thatcher and the second one was Theresa May. Yes, so I guess big up yourself is in order. Yeah. All right, congratulations, Liz Trust. Look, we see where you come with. So, we never go no time after that. No, the big news of the day yesterday, the Queen passed away. Queen Elizabeth II passed and her, she was 96 years old and she was the longest um, ruler in the monarch basically. Um, she ruled for 70 years from 1952 and um, died leaving four children, King Charles III. Andrew, Anne, and Edward, and grandchildren and great grand. So, yeah, she has lived to see during her lifetime. She lived to see fifteen prime ministers and fourteen U.S. presidents. Wow. Yep. Can you imagine you have one job for seventy years? She's supposed to have a good pension plan. But then she can't have a UV plan right now. Oh boy. So now the son take over. King Charles III. So him start work at 73. Him just <laughs> take over a family business. No, sir. So him and him lady, the queen consort, Camilla. Yes, so them supposed to run things, you know. But what a thingy, because with this lady at death now, it going cost England tax. It going cost the taxpayer them dearly because twelve days of mourning. Um, on the day of the announcement, where them said them supposed to shut down. Um, you shut down the, the stock market and all kind of business. Then on the day of funeral, shut down again. You know much money that the country lose. And not to mention the funeral. A out of taxpayer money that I come out at you know. So if you know we about that, you understand. Anyways, somebody you know, do check up on LA Lewis the film because LA I take it hard. Cause LA remember say LA Lewis related to I'm granny. You understand? And why we kind of feel away from him still. Poor L.A. Lewis. <laughs> L.A. Lewis said, um, him, um, him miss him, granny. Him said, granny, I miss you. Let, anyway, so me know definitely me go watch the funeral because me want to see which part them I go put L.A. Lewis because he's supposed to be queen grandson, right? So that means say uh, him go maybe in a the the first maybe in a the first four or five rows. I will be watching because I have to see that the funeral there with L.A. Lewis in it. Lord Jesus. <laughs> L.A. Lewis 
so easy, you know. So yes, so um with the with the with the death of the queen, Harry kids automatically become prince and princess. And that was um uh, that rule or that yeah, that rule was made up by her dad, King George VI. That once you the monarch die, I guess the great the great grandchildren become prince and princesses. Yeah, so no so so no the little boy name Archie and the little girl near Lily Bet so Prince Archie and Princess Lily Bet. Alright. But I'm wondering if um if this monarchy thing going to continue because to be honest that was our gener my generation and earlier no the generation don't, they don't really give a flying f <laughs> so, um th th there's not that um what what's the word there's not that much interest in that anymore so I don't, in my mind, I don't think this monarchy thing will last for too long. I think, I think England, um, gonna, Britain, they're gonna wanna go republic like everybody else. We are trying, we are trying to go republic. I hope our country speed it, speed up the process now. Now that Auntie Queen is out of the way, no can speed it up now. Because it that drag on the foot long time. Speed up the thing now. But I make it go to Prince Charles and then him keel over and then till 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 it reach to the sun. You understand? Speed up the process. So I don't think it will reach it will last that long. Because as I said, the younger generation, they're not that intrigued about the whole thing. You know, and they know people are more aware of what the institution brought um how it was formed on the backs of slaves so i don't think a lot of people are intrigued with that anymore you know now that we can google and read for ourselves and we're more aware not now hidden again everything has come up because yeah, you know not not the same <laughs> so that to me right there is the end of an era if you ask me yes but well, me know enough people are gonna be upset this weekend because all of the 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 Premier League football team no game this weekend. I don't know what the man them are gonna do. All of the man them will get together to watch soccer or watch football, whatever no one call it. We call it football at Jamaica. Over here so they call it soccer. I think this is the only place to call it soccer. I don't know why. Why you call it soccer? That is football. You understand? I, I can never understand it. We then call football as a me that call that handball because I, most of the time I see them run up and down with the ball. Once in a while I see them kick it through and wild looking thing. But Jimmy, the, the, the way we know as football, that's a football. But anyways, um, that's, that's going to be off for this weekend and maybe next weekend. No comedy show can play on TV over there. Me ear, so me I hear from the radio because apparently you're not supposed to be laughing because you're supposed to be in mourning. What kind of madness that? I don't know my mother did, I don't know my granny did. So, why if me want to watch it? Comedy, so me I wonder, all right, we know so the, the public television them can't play no comedy, but what if somebody from over there if you now watch that, that channel here? Let me know it go if you if you are allowed to watch Netflix. Suppose you want to watch it could come in on Netflix and Ulu or Amazon Prime. If you can watch that <laughs> if, if you if you're allowed to laugh out loud. Uh, I don't know. But yeah. So that's crazy though. So yes, so the, you know the funeral it it's gonna be a big thing. Anyway, she was a nice looking lady. 
what can I say? And she could address. You know, she have a little style. She have on a yellow hat, she have on a yellow frock with her yellow jacket and her little yellow purse and thing. She was a very classy dress lady when it comes to her dressing. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and again, and then the next thing now, them have got change the, the, the national anthem. From God save the queen to now God save the king. Them have changed. As we speak, new money would all have start print right you now. Because her money, well, before before her death, I got an email from NCB saying that they were changing out the money. Um, um, but they were gonna the the old the old pound. They were gonna change them out and put some and and uh we had until them say you have until the sixteenth. Um, to spend it after that, basically, it's not no use. You know, I want 20 pounds, yeah? but I have a whole lamp on it still because right now, for all the collectors out there, we don't have the whole money because we can maybe sell it for eBay or something. I have a 120 pounds. <laughs> got a whole lamp on that. Yes. So, yep. That's a lot of money is gonna be spent right there to change out all of those things from her name to fee name and again taxpayers. I think I'm just done know with this whole part because to be honest, I don't know what purpose they actually serve. Come to think of it. They don't really serve no purpose. They're not really necessary. In this time, maybe back then, but they're not really necessary this in at this time, yeah. To be honest, yeah. yeah. We watch and see if England will accept the king, because again, to you know, people. Remember, say away for people still have him up, you know, from Diana Dale, and. I guess it we we married to and a lot of people don't too fancy that lady there. And them not fancy him. Then when them we give the mother a little leeway, them not really fancy him. So that's why I say me not think it about last that long either. Cause whoever well, people still have him up from the Diana story then. You don't understand. I guess we hear it pop up. Cause you know one um theme thing become um once then crown him all of them the little story they're gonna come out from the woodwork yep so let us watch and see yes yeah, so basically that's it for today yep and um of course you know the music people then eh? big up with yourself in a twitch land oh there's one more person i'd like to wish a happy birthday one of my twitch family members uh busy lady that's the name she goes by busy lady happy birthday to you i was at her birthday party virtual birthday party on which day was it wednesday wednesday morning yes so happy birthday to you too the amount of virgos i'm telling you Yes, so yes, if you, so if you like what you just saw, because I've been here rambling for quite a while, <laughs> um, just like, share, comment, comment people. What you think? You think, you think that England is going to go Republic or them going to hang on to this royal business? What do you think? Yeah. And um yeah, I like to see the comment. Just comment guys, just comment. Comment, share, like the whole work. Yeah, and if anybody see LA Lewis out there, yeah, um send him my condolences about him granny death and <laughs> so do LA Lewis love keep up the arms out still. <laughs> oh my gosh, anyways people. I have work tomorrow, so you know I go. 
All right. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and take care and peace.